How we doing, guys? That was the first practice. It was good. It was good. Uh, lots of enthusiasm. All right, guys hopping around, you know, uh, a lot of juice, which we needed. You know, uh, they were happy to be back out on the field. They were happy to be back together. You know, had a wonderful Christmas at home with their family, so they was happy to be back together. What are you hoping to get accomplished between now and Saturday? Uh, preparation. You know, it's all a process. We're going through the process of preparing to win a ball game. You know, so that's what we're hoping to get get done. Coach, saw, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I saw Des Harris back in the pads. Why not? Are you expecting him to play? We're hoping. You know, he's going through some exercises, uh, a little bit with the defense, a little bit with the trainer. So uh, we're looking, hope, hoping to have him back for Saturday. What do you think he could be, like, sort of full go? Uh, I'm hoping he's going to be full go. We need him. No, I, what, when are you expecting him? To, well, like, when are you hoping for him to go as Saturday. Far as practice goes? No, Saturday. Yeah, we hope he can go Saturday. Same thing with Mixon. Same thing with Mixon. Same thing. We get him a few reps in practice, but we're looking forward to Saturday. So Le Lashard out there today. Is he going to be able to go? He's back ready, you know. So he's working. He he's back in the mix. So we're excited about having him back out there. What Coach? about Donald Gray? Saw him dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Donald, you know, he, he's out there. He, he brings a lot of juice to the group. So we need Donald around us. Coach Keaton was thrown into the mix in that game. Nobody's got a chance to think. You know, you just got to put him out there. What about the prospects of him knowing? for all these weeks that he's going to be the guy, the preparation back home, the, the, the film sessions, the meetings, your work here. Uh, are you pretty excited about seeing what he can do given all that preparation as I, opposed to? I think he's handled it well. I think he's handled it well. He's prepared, you know, and uh, he's going through it. As you watch him perform in practice, he's getting better and better. And that's coming with the more amount of reps he's getting every day. So, you know, he's getting the full load. You know, there's no Nick Fitzgerald right now. So he's getting the full load of it. And as you watch him develop, he's getting better and better every day. So the more we practice, the better he gets. Is every page of the playbook open for him? No, no, we close some of it. We close some of it because he, we, we sit him down, put a page in front of him, and he's like, here, tell us what you feel comfortable with. All right? And then that's what we put in. So we're going to do what he can do, what he feels good about. Is there anybody that you've ruled out for the bowl game that won't be able to play Saturday? Not yet. Not yet. Everybody's in. Nick Fitzgerald, he's, right. I guess he's out. <laughs> what about Dontavian? Dontavian, we, we, we on up to Saturday. Still going through the process of healing. Who do you expect to sort of uh, lead on at corner without Peters available? Uh, right now we talked to Coach Buckley. You know, uh, we got Cleveland. We got third back, you know, so – and with those two guys coming back, you know, Corey Charles is there who hadn't played a lot, but, you know, he's there in a backup role now. So we got some guys. You'd also have you Dantzler know. as well. You'd also have Cameron Dantzler as well. Yeah, we have Dantzler as well. So, you know, we, we miss Jamal. He's part of the family. We understand what he's going through. But we got guys that are in position ready to step up and play. I know we've asked you about how the players have kind of handled the changes and the coaching changes. How have the assistants around you sort of handled everything? Well, they, they understand it, and they're, they're in this business, you know. They've been in it a long time, all right, just like I have. So uh, it, it's, it's nothing that's unusual to them. They, they know this side of it, you know, and so now they're on this side of it, so they just adjust and keep moving forward. How have they been sort of with keeping sort of like a motivation to, to sort of see this whole thing through? Well, number one, we have a foundation and it's family. And so our players understand. They know me. They know our assistant coaches. And they know we're all family. So they, they, the players understand more than anything. So that's a big part of it where it's less maintenance when they understand what's going on. All right, They know it's going to be a new coach. They understand that we're going through the bowl game. All right, And we're preparing to win the game. So as long as the players understand, there's less maintenance. So there is a possibility Donald could play Saturday? Donald? Yeah. I don't know about Donald playing. <laughs> but he's out here with us. Right. He's going to be playing in his mind with us. He plays. <laughs> and trust me, he'll be there with us mentally. Coach, when, what's the level of excitement for defensive players in going against Lamar Jackson? Do you, do you encourage them to be excited about that opportunity, or do you say, well, let's not fixate on just one guy and, you know, do what you do? What, how do you how It's, you it's a that? wonderful challenge for our players, you know, to have an opportunity to play against a Heisman Trophy winner and a guy of his caliber. All right, that doesn't come along often. You know, I, I think in the history, uh, Mississippi State's probably played against two Heisman Trophy winners, uh, Tim Tebow and what, Ricky Williams when they played in the bowl game. So we're talking about two, all right? So this will be the third one. And, and, and our defense, oh, Johnny Manziel, that's right, that's three. So this is a great opportunity for our defensive guys. You know, and I think they are excited about the challenge and looking forward to the opportunity of playing. And what what's kind of the main theme for your defense about Lamar Jackson? What you know, keep him in the pocket. All right, 
to keep him in the pocket. Then once he scrambles and gets out of the pocket, he's very dangerous. You know, he, he's going to do his thing. He's going to get his. We just got to maintain him and control it. Thank you. Thank you.